Well, we've talked to you before about strategy. What was the strategy today? Um, basically, I was supposed to PR with my two mile. I run. Uh, I ran 11:09 on the track last spring, and so I was basically supposed to try and run faster than 11:09 in the first two miles, um, and then just kind of hang on for the last two, get ready for like big competitive races like at Nike Cross. Uh, so your teammates were okay with that? Say, all right, just just go. Yeah, I mean, we all had pretty individual aggressive race plans, um, so everyone sort of had a different idea of what they're supposed to do. If you put your season in words to start to finish, what, what would you say? Uh, just so exciting and so rewarding. I mean, I've worked so hard and just had random little injuries. And, I, and I, I was anemic last year, so didn't have a very good season. It just feels really good to finally, like, all that work I put in is paying off. What's your future in running now? Um, well, I don't know where I'm going to school yet. I'll decide after this weekend. Um, I think the top two are Brown and University of Oregon, so we'll see. <laughs> what about your training schedule during the season? Tell us about that. Yeah, um, I mean, it's been, been pretty consistent throughout the season and through the last summer, too. Um, just usually about 30, 35 mile weeks, occasionally going up to 40. Um, like one long run, two hard workouts on Tuesday and Thursday, and then race Friday or Saturday. 4A competition, a lot more different than 3A? Um, it's not super different. It's kind of weird going into the race, not really like knowing how everyone races, you know, because we kind of get used to racing against the people that you're with, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, like, I don't know how these people race, like what their strategies usually are, or like if they're going to come up and catch me at the end of the race or something like that. So it's just kind of different, like adjusting to the new new competition. Well, plus you've never, run up, you've never gone up against uh, the runners like, say, Cheyenne, Laramie, Gillette, and Sharon or anything like that. So yeah. what, what could you do to prepare for them, or if you could? Um, Good job, I love you. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> um, just, yeah, I mean, going into it, just same, same kind of way as you do other races, just not really aware of exactly what your competition's gonna do, but knowing your plan really, really well, knowing this is exactly how I'm gonna run, and if other people make a move, I'm gonna respond to it. Talk about this being, I don't know if you guys come this on, you, you know, moving up into 4 a yeah. and then on top, let's talk about that. <laughs> Um, just super exciting, yeah. I mean, we, we've we been like watching the girls in 4A, knowing that we might move up eventually. Um, so ever since my freshman year, we've kind of had had that in the back of our minds. Like, these girls are our competition still, even if we're not in the same race as them. And talk about, you know, it's the end of uh, cross country um, and looking forward to ski season. Yeah, oh, I'm really excited for Nordic. Just kind of like, yeah, well, <laughs> my Nordic season will start for a few weeks still because we have Nike Cross Regionals and hopefully Nationals. So. That way I won't start skiing until like mid-December, but it'll be fun. Let's talk about the overall course today. Um, I think that's the fastest it's ever felt to me. Maybe it's just because I was running faster than I've ever run, but um, I think it definitely felt really quick today, like really, really good surface and just perfect weather.